Hey guys, it's me Kaylee. So today I am doing a DIY on something very similar to this. Sorry for the glare on the jar thing. Um, it is a, a sticker. Actually, it is a sticker. It's a homemade sticker. If you guys want me to do tour tutorial on this, then like this video and I will do it but we are doing something similar and we are going to be putting it on this jar yeah I just have some OPI nail polishes yes I know they are the really good kind of nail polish but my other nail polishes are really crappy so <laughs> Yeah, I just I'm just gonna use these. So what we want to do is like just think of any design that you want to put on your jar, and your lid doesn't have to be on, but it can also be on. It's your choice, really. I'm just gonna leave it on and pick out whatever color that you want to use. The ones I'm gonna be using are this silver. It's like a matte color. It's a silver sparkly color. It's really cool. It's really pretty. I've used it before. It's so gorgeous. Then I'm going to be using this, I don't know, medium pink color that's like a pearl color shade. I don't know what you want to call it. And then I'm just going to be using this really dark plum purple color all by OPI. And I'm going to be using this jar. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but I got the silver part done and it's really glary. There you go. You can partly see it. So I just did like a pattern and now I'm going to go in with this color. It's like the lightest color that I'm using. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and then I will just have this color left and yeah. So I'm just going to put this color in like the empty squares in between the silver parts. So I finished the top and the bottom squares. Now I'm just going to go over the top part probably. Yeah, I'm just going to go over the top part here and the bottom part underneath the squares on the top and then just on the top on the bottom.
Okay guys, so this is the finished product of what mine looks like. It's got purple, pink, and a silver matte color. It's really cute, I would think. And I absolutely love it. I'm going to use this for my makeup stuff. For like brushes or something or whatever. This can be used for like pencils and like anything like maybe to school or with like makeup stuff so any of those could fit probably really well in this don't even have to use the lid for this like I said um, it can just be like this <laughs> or I can just you know have a lid on it casually having a lid on it so I hope you guys like this video tutorial DIY video and I will see you in my next video and I love you all goodbye oh and don't forget to like this video if you liked it or even found it interesting um, comment down below what other videos you would like to see in future videos there is a really bad glare right there I hate it and also from there too um, sorry about that and also subscribe if you're if you already haven't bye bye